And to a certain extent, we knew that this was coming. Go back to 2020 and think about how they changed the rules of the game. They manipulated the social media companies in the way that they could cover, say, Hunter Biden's laptop. Mm -hmm. When you look at the polling numbers, it doesn't matter if it's nationally, <clears throat> if it's in the battleground states, over and over, President Trump is beating Joe Biden very handily. The only way that the Democrats believe that they can mm -hmm. stop President Trump is through this lawfare. Really important point here, though. Let's go in the time machine back one year to when this indictment first came down. Democrats roundly mocked this indictment. They said this is weak, this is frivolous, this is gonna undercut every other aspect of lawfare they're coming after President Trump with, that this was so frivolous it would never stand up. Now they're jumping up and down like they won the Super Bowl. I think what the right. Democrats did was punch President Trump's mm -hmm. ticket right back to the White House. Wow. You've been with the former president every step of the way through this entire trial. How is he feeling? You were with him yesterday. How is the Trump team feeling after all of this? President Trump is defiant. He's tough. When he came out of that courtroom, he was ready to go face the cameras and come out swinging. Mm -hmm. But today, the important thing about today at 11 o'clock, mm -hmm. and we'll be watching right here on Newsmax, I'll be with the president at Trump Tower. What the president is going to do is talk about why this is happening. What is happening to the American people? What's happening because of inflation, the chaos at the border, the killing that we see, whether it be in Ukraine or in the Middle East? All of the world seems to be devolving on Joe Biden's watch. And where is Joe Biden today? He's taking a break from the beach to meet the Kansas City Chiefs to then go back to the beach. That's what Joe Biden is doing. And I think Americans look at the injustice and say, wait a minute, why are they trying to do this to President Trump when the Biden family took tens of millions of dollars from China, from Russia, from Ukraine with no consequences? And so the real verdict is people have been saying, and the president said last night, will be on November 5th. And the outpouring of support, I tell you, over the past 12, however many hours it's right. been, I've heard from people I haven't spoken with in a decade. There are people who are adamant, never Trumpers they knew, that reached out and said, you know what? I'm, I'm off the sidelines. I am in. I'm ready to fight. They crashed DonaldJTrump.com. Yeah. Was they, that suspicious or was that people, just a surge of people donating? It was the single biggest surge we have ever had on the campaign. Wow. Yeah. And it just, the people, and it, again, it wasn't just the people doing the donations. Some people are doing 5 and $10. Very appreciative of anything people can do. But people are just signing up to help. They're sending their words of support and saying, if they're going to do this to President Trump, what could they do to me? What's that website, yeah. Jason? DonaldJTrump.com. Yeah, so important right now. This sort of thing's not supposed to happen in the United States. Um, mm -hmm. We've, I think we've crossed the Rubicon. I, it's interesting to me that if you ask ordinary Americans, including people, by the way, that work in the media and people in politics, they have no idea what Donald Trump was actually just convicted of. We're talking about a former <laughs> president. I think that, if anything, should be crystal clear if you're going to accuse, try, and convict a former president of anything. People should know what he's actually being charged with. What does this mean? And I know we've, we've had less than a day to digest all this. Mm -hmm. What do you think this means for Trump politically? Well, as we've seen indication from all the various witch hunts in the indictments before, his numbers keep going up. And I've been with the president a long time. Let's go back to the beginning. Think about Russia, 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 Ukraine, 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 the first impeachment, the second impeachment, all these indictments, and his numbers keep going up because Americans get it. I think that the Democrats look at the American public and think they're a bunch of idiots. We look at the American public and say, this country belongs to you, does not belong to the Democrats, does not belong to the media, and we're sick and tired of politicians like Joe Biden weaponizing government to go after their political opponents. As you referenced, this happens in Brazil, this happens in Colombia, yeah. the third world countries, banana republics. The genie's now out of the box. Don't think that this will stop with President mm -hmm. Trump. Joe Biden has made this the new normal to go after your political opponents and every president who's ever been in office going forward now has a big old target on their back. Their political opponents will come after him. Joe Biden has set a dangerous precedent. And all of this has kept him off the campaign trail for the past seven, six, seven weeks or so. So what happens now? What happens next? We know he's speaking at 11, but does he hit the campaign trail today, tomorrow? So we'll be back out very shortly. Uh, as we see, um, next week he'll be on the campaign trail with a few different events. We haven't announced all of them yet. The big thing coming up is June 27th, and that's the debate. Yeah. debate. And I look forward to President Trump looking Joe Biden in the eye and calling him out for exactly what has happened here. Debate's still on? Because oh, Joe Biden can now is, say, wait a second, I'm not going to debate a convicted felon. Uh, debate is still on, and Joe Biden is going to be held accountable for everything that he is doing to ruin this country. He's going to have to stand there. I don't know how he's going to stand for an hour and a half. That <laughs> seems like something tough for Joe Biden to do. Right. He's going to have to stand and be held accountable for everything that he's done. And I tell you, President Trump is defiant in the face of this. He knows that this is much bigger than him. This is about the American people. I